Deep below us here at the White Cliffs of Dover, there lies a hidden labyrinth. These forgotten tunnels played a vital role in Britain's defence during the Second World War, housing emergency shelters and a hospital for the soldiers manning the gun battery on the cliffs above. This was Winston Churchill's first line of defence, providing an early warning against enemy attack. It's quite cold and it's quite damp down here, but actually, during the war, it would have been quite warm, quite noisy and quite humid. You've got space down here for 184 men and four officers. These tunnels, which took just 100 days to dig out, were abandoned after the war and largely forgotten. The MOD made a first attempt to seal them up by bricking up the entrances. In the 1960s, they sold the site off and they sold off all the scrap rights. We acquired the land in 2012, but it wasn't until we started some feasibility work that we discovered the tunnels. Volunteers spent months clearing the tunnels of rubble and debris, and what they found was a time capsule of army life in the early 1940s. One of the interesting things about the unlined chalk tunnels is it tells you something about how the tunnels were originally mined out. So you can see lots of the drill marks on the walls. It's also extremely easy to carve into this, so you see lots of graffiti as well. Here you've got JF 1940, and we've even got some pencil graffiti here from November 1942. This is a very special place with a unique story to tell, and the best way to understand it is to come and experience it for yourself. The tunnels are now open to visitors on selected dates each year, and you can find out more on the National Trust website.